Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. We are all Valentine's out because I am going to review the ColourPop Valentine's Day collection for this year. I reviewed their collection last year, loved it. So I was so excited for this year's collection. They did send this to me in PR, it's not sponsored or anything, but I've made the executive decision to start covering ColourPop more on my channel. They sent me a number of collections that I just never feel like I ever get around to and I want to do a better job of laying out all the new colors pop launches and telling you what actually is worth it and what isn't because I know it can get overwhelming with all their launches. So I'm making a bigger effort to cover all the ColourPop stuff. Starting with this collection because this collection is the cutest. This collection is called the Secret Admirer Collection. So let's go over what is in here. We have a lot of stuff. It's a pretty big collection from ColourPop. They have these adorable hair clips which look like gummy candy. I'm gonna put these on my head. We have Probably the most exciting part of this collection are the heart blushes. There's six of them. These were a hit last year. They sold out and... <gasps> All but one shade is actually sold out already, unfortunately. This came to my house literally the hour that a collection launched yesterday, so I didn't have a chance to get this up before it launched. If they restock these, I will keep you guys updated because I'm telling you, even before I put these on my face, these are the best part of the collection. They had those last year, worth it. <laughs> we also are going to get a shimmering body powder. What else? A hairbrush, a shimmering body oil. We have a nine pan palette in here. Lip Mask Duo, and then we have some shades of Fresh Kiss stuff, so I'm gonna go over all of that today. It's a lot. Let's get into it. Let's do the accessories really quickly because they're just so cute, and I, I thought it was so dumb when ColourPop started doing accessories with their collection, and now they're like my favorite part. I think they have the cutest accessories. So these little gummy hairpins, they're $10. I mean, they're not worth $10. I wouldn't suggest getting it, but they're so cute. They look like little gummy can't don't eat don't let this hair clip get near your kids if you have kids but isn't that just i'm keeping these for myself i think they're so cute but they are ten dollars something that i'm not going to be using today is the good together lip mask and moisturizer kit this is eighteen dollars so in here you get a strawberry lip mask and a good mood gel moisturizer i have so many lip masks and moisturizers in my collection i don't want to open this i'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this for valentine's Day, and this is going in that giveaway but yep that is in the collection oh this is another accessory that I forgot to show you you have a cute little heart hairbrush I don't need a hairbrush <laughs> but I'm gonna put this in the giveaway as well that's actually ten dollars if you want it it's super adorable for like your kids or something or as a gift so that's all the accessories and that skincare thing another item that I'm not going to try today because I have ones that look similar to this already but this is the shimmering dry body oil I really like these if you're out in the sun to just put it all over and get a little glittery like Edward Cullen this is a shade pretty peachy again going in the giveaway it's a good Good product in the summer to get nice and glowy on your chest you know so this is nice I just I don't need it <sighs> now it's time to play with the colors <laughs> and put it on my face so getting nice and personal I'm actually wearing a full face of ColourPop I have been testing the pretty fresh pressed face powder more I did do a quick one minute review on my Instagram and TikTok at as a powder foundation and I thought it looked a little dry on me and it didn't give the most coverage. This to set with, I much prefer. I feel like it's very, very blurring when you use it to set and it looks really, really nice. So I've been liking it for that purpose a lot better. Still in the middle of testing it, but I've been enjoying it. That's another new product. We are gonna start off with the eyeshadow palette, which is still currently available. And by the way, you can get the blushes if you buy the entire collection for $165. I, mean, I don't know if you wanna spend $165, but that is an option to get the blushes. If you like the whole collection itself, you could also break up the whole collection and give some stuff away as gifts as well, if you wanna do it that way. But I'm gonna turn the lights down so we can swatch this. So here is the eyeshadow palette. This is the Secret Admire eyeshadow palette. Let me tell you one thing that I love. This is like a cute little envelope. How adorable. So this palette is only $14. 
gotta love it. And here is what the palette itself is going to look like. And then the back, as you know, ColourPop is cruelty free and they are made in the USA. I love ColourPop. They launched too much. It became too much for me to handle on my channel. I mean, it's good stuff for the most part at the end of the day. And here is the palette itself. I mean, it's pink. You guys know I didn't need anything pink in my collection, but this is a very cute Valentine's Day palette. I love that there's two little hearts here. I just reviewed a pink Valentine's Day palette yesterday. I'm over the pinks, but tis the season, so it's cute. Let's play with it, let's swatch it. So I'm gonna start off by swatching the first three colors here on the top row. One, that shimmer looks pretty. It's a little crumbly, but it's pretty. One, two, three. Let's get these next three shades. Everlasting, too cute, and all night. The mattes do look a little bit on the soft side, which is not a bad thing for these crazy pinks. Do you really want them that vivid? Let's get the last row here, which are the deeper shades. Oof, this last row would make a really pretty look. Okay, so everything swatched. I would say like a normal ColourPop palette. Looks pretty good. I mean, for $14, you really can't beat it. So let's apply it to the eyelid. I do like how this palette is laid out as I'm looking at it. You have kind of like more of a neutral soft look at the top. You have more of a true pinky look in the middle and then you have more of a deeper, almost burgundy eye. So it actually is a little bit more versatile than I thought than initially looking at it. I'm gonna figure out a look on this side and then I'll be back to give you a good tutorial, hopefully. So here's the look I came up up with. Keep in mind, my looks when it comes to reviewing palettes aren't meant to be the most artistic. It's more, more so about how many shades can I fit on my eye and still create a pretty look with to be able to truly judge the quality of this palette. But it's such a pretty Valentine's Day look. It kind of looks like my Natasha Denona look that I did yesterday with their Valentine's Day palette. So you can only do so much with pinks. <laughs> Anyways, this palette is a little messy. You get a lot of fallout, so definitely tap off your brush. And if you have the ability maybe do your face makeup last. I'm so stubborn. I always just want to start off with a clean canvas and do my face makeup first and then I always regret it. So this palette is a little messy but it's pretty easy to work with. So I'm going to start off with a Wayne Goss number three brush and we're using this shade right here. With Love is the name. This one's not that powdery so this one is not messy if this is going to be the main color of your look. Because if you want to do something really soft for Valentine's Day. Sometimes I love like a bold hot pink lip with a soft eye look. Use this shade and this shade and ugh, it'll be the prettiest soft pink look. So that's an option for you if you have this palette. I'm running that along my lower lash line as well. So this is like the perfect transition. I'm going to use it a lot to blend out my crease shades as we build. That's what that looks like on me. If you have more of a rich complexion, this is a great highlight shade. Next up, I'm gonna build with a little bit of All Night. This one is messy. You get a lot of kickback with this one. So definitely have your palette facing down and tap off your brush before you apply. This shade I feel like pulls a little bit more pink on the eyelid than it looks in the pan. It gives you a very, very pink look. Just looks a lot brighter. This palette low-key has a little bit more versatility than you think for it being just a pink palette because the different styles of pink looks that you can get are like bubblegum pink, soft mauvey pink, warm pink. I do like that. And you can see, this is blending out like a dream super easily. Just go in really light-handed. If you're heavy-handed, be careful. I'm a pretty light-handed person with makeup. Oh, by the way, that was a Wayne Goss number six brush. Next, with a Wayne Goss number 19, we're going into Hey Girl. Let's do a little bit of depth. So this is another one that I thought was gonna be just a little deeper than it actually turned out to be. It doesn't defer from All Night like I would like it to. It does have a slightly more peachy undertone, so it added a touch more warmth to the look but it didn't do anything crazy so layering these two I don't find to be the most necessary step but you can see that added a little bit of fire to the look though I will admit that and again if you keep it nice and light because it's powdery the mattes in here are powdery for the most part it will be easy to work out and then I'm going to constantly go back with with love and then we're going to use that in the first brush just to keep everything nice and soft and blended. Let's go in with the superstar color. This is my everything. I'm using a Wingus number 20. I love this shade. I'm so happy ColourPop 
put this in here because it completely changes the direction of the palette from being like an obnoxiously pink palette to something more deep and vampy and sexy. So I'm building it up in my crease, even going inwards. This is the transformative color in this palette, honestly. I was hoping it'd give just a little bit more depth than it gives. I find that the mattes in this palette are pulling a little lighter on the eyelid than they look on the pan, but still, like, it's it's still adding dark. It's still adding vampy. I'm just being picky. I'm a makeup reviewer. I can't help but be a little picky and point out all of the weaknesses. Okay, and then we're just gonna soften the edges because she looking a little unblended. All right, and then to clean it up, I just take the sponge that I used for my foundation and concealer and see how that just cleans everything up. Gorgeous. So I think this is my favorite shade in the palette, See You Tonight. So I'm gonna take my Sonia G Builder Brush, tap off the excess. I would almost suggest to wet your brush, not for intensity, but just for fallout purposes, especially if you did your face makeup first. But look how stunning this shade is. It's taking everything in me not to put it all over the lid and call it a day with this look. I love this for an evening Valentine's eye. Gorgeous shade, super pigmented. And then I'm taking In The Mood with a Morphe eyeshadow brush. So this shade is a little crumbly. It's not my favorite shimmer in this palette. It's very, very messy. So tilt your head back and then press it into the skin just to ensure that it's going to stay. And then kind of pat it in that inner corner. It work to highlight the eye. I'm blending it just a little bit over See You Tonight. Okay, I'm going to tap off the excess. How pretty is that? The shades seem to be really, really good quality. Everything blended really pretty. I was very happy with how the shimmers look and their level of shine. Very, very happy with this. This is a great option if you're looking for a Valentine's palette. I'm gonna do liner and lashes really quickly and then we're gonna play with the cheek and lip products. With lashes, is this look not incredible? <gasps> I'm obsessed. It's almost a little purpley with that outer corner color. Wow, okay. Anyways, let's get into the blushes. Now each blush is going to cost $10 each. Right now, like I said, most of them are sold out. So if they do come back in stock, I will let you know. The only one that is in stock right now is text me and I'll get to swatching on those. They were so good last year. I still have the ones from last year. Great formula, easy to blend. ColourPop knows how to do blushes and this packaging on top of it, I can see why they always sell out. So they did come back with, I believe, their most popular shade from last year, which is Kiss and Tell. This is the packaging that the blushes are going to come in. I still have mine from last year, so I'm putting this in the giveaway, but I'll swatch Kiss and Tell for you. So this is like a nice, soft, peachy color. This is definitely going to be the most wearable color, and it looks so pretty on the cheeks. You can't really even see it too much by swatch, honestly, but on the face, it's so so pretty. Let me try and intensify the swatch. It's just one of those where you have to put it on the face. Let me do Text Me next, which is the color that is still available. So probably going to be for my deeper skin tone friends. You can see these are quite soft though, so these will definitely work. I like a blush that's not pigmented. Flirt and Tell. <gasps> Ooh, this one is mauve -y. You know this one's going to be right up my alley. Okay, that's Flirt and Tell. Let's Dance is a little bit more on the peachier side. Okay. You forever Yours. Let's take a look. This one's going to be brighter. Yeah. You can see they have a very soft sheen to them when I swatch them. Last one is Baby Cakes. Ooh, that one might be the brightest. Okay, so you can see by swatch... They're on the more quiet side, which is good if you are heavy handed. So I want to try Flirt Alert because I love a good like mauve blush. So let's keep this one towards the back of the cheek. <gasps> See what I mean? They apply so pretty and soft and easy to blend out. Very, very beginner friendly formula. This one, this one's really pretty. I like Flirt Alert a lot. Let me wipe it off on my Sigma Switch. Let's do a brighter color on this side. We'll do Forever Yours. These are kind of hard to open though. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go lighter. This is a Sonia G cheek brush, by the way. Oh yeah, even though I didn't swatch the best, you can see that color is showing up quite bright on my face. That's really pretty with this look. I like that. I want it to be a little bit more purpley. Might regret this, but let's do Baby Cakes. Like, I don't know right back here to almost sculpt 
the face. Yeah, I gotta go really light-handed with this shade. I'm gonna have to go over with the sponge to tone this all down, but I just wanted to play. Okay, and then my apple color, as if I needed to apply another color. I don't know about that, maybe, <laughs> maybe we won't do that. This is more peachy than I would want it to be for this look, but we're gonna do Let's Dance just, just because. It's so pretty. And by the way, the lights are toned down so that you can really see the blush colors. Yeah, everybody knew that these clearly were the most exciting and best thing of this collection. I hope they restock because these blushes are for 10 bucks. They're so pretty. I feel like each of the blushes look different on the cheek. They add something different. I'm just gonna tone it down with a sponge because it's a bit loud since I put literally four blushes on my face. It's so, so pretty. Favorite part of the collection. The next item in the collection is this shimmering body powder, which is from Soul. So this is made for the body and pretty peachy. So it's this packaging that I think you guys hate from what you've told me. It's quite cheap but look at this so this i normally don't put on my body but i do like it like on the eyelids or as a highlight so this is 14 dollars. let me show you the swatch it's very very reflective oh you saw that right that pigment <gasps> this all over the eyelid because it has like a golden turn to it it's almost like a duochrome okay i can't use this as a highlight it's a lot of product <laughs> <laughs> like I would say I would love to use this all over the lid, but that's that's a lot of product I'm going to take just a little bit on my Sonia G cheek brush And I'm going to put it kind of over the blush, but in like the higher areas So when you put it on your face, I actually don't like that. It's a little glittery. I feel like Okay, yeah, I don't like that as a highlight. It is too, too glittery. I'm committed now though, so I'm going to <laughs> pack it on a little bit more, but you can see that. You might like this effect though, if you're into that glittery effect. For me, for every day, I'm not as into that, but I feel like where I would use this is not on my body, but all over the lid. How gorgeous is that gonna be? So this is not a waste at all. I, I wish I had available room on my eyelid to put this on because it's really, really pretty. On the cheek, not so much. On the body, it could be good if you're into using products like that on your body, but it would be more so on the eyelid for me, which I don't know if you'd want to spend $14 just to put it on your eyelid, but <laughs> it is really, really pretty. All right, let's get into the final part of this collection that's actually going to complete my look. So in this collection, ColourPop launched six Fresh Kiss Lip Creams. They're going to come in a cute little box like this. And I guess this is the new style of the ColourPop lip products. All of them seem to be coming in this packaging. Has the pink lid, Fresh Kiss Lip Cream. So let's swatch all of these. These are going to be $8 each. You can also pick up the entire range of the six shades for $45. It is only a $48 value, so you're not saving that much, but you can get them in a set. So this first shade is Makeup. Out, which is more of like a peachy nude. That's my wheelhouse. I like peachy nudes. <laughs> Let's try it on since it's the lightest shade just so you can see the consistency of that. Look at that. They're quite natural as you can see. They don't have like too thick of pigmentation which is nice if that's what you like. I don't know. Next we have Smoochin. This one's just a tad deeper. You are mine. This one has more pink to it. Probably just something more similar to what I wear for a look like this. Date night. Ooh, that's really pretty. This could add like a pop to your face without being too obnoxious. Heaven. Gorgeous. I'm thinking we might do this shade for my look today. Lastly, the deepest shade is Oh Baby. See, this one has a lot of pigment to it. Here are the six shades. I think this is a very appropriate range for a Valentine's Day collection. I mean, it just depends on what color you need. You can see as I've been wearing this formula, it's quite light on the lips. It doesn't necessarily feel hydrating, but it doesn't feel drying. And it feels really lightweight, actually. Let's get a deeper color. I have this formula in my collection, but I haven't worn it a ton. So I'm not an expert on this. We're gonna use Heaven, because I think this will be fun with my look. Maybe it's a little too bright. Mm, I changed my mind. Heaven's a little brighter than what I want. We're gonna tone it down and actually use You Are Mine. It's not that I don't like the color, it's just too hot pink, which like, I guess I would want something more like 
oh baby to kind of neutralize that but let's use you are mine i feel like you are mine is probably a shade you might want to pick up more because it's a little bit more wearable so let me show you what that looks like again this is you are mine but this one is a lot softer Mm, that's really pretty with this look. But do I want it? I'm being really indecisive right now. I would suggest to wear a lip liner with this formula. It's weird. I don't have a lot of formulas that feel like this. It really is like a cream. It's not quite a lipstick. It's not quite a lip gloss. It's a cream. It's a little bit more glossy feeling than the NYX soft matte lip creams. This color is really pretty. This color is perfect for this look. But now all of a sudden I'm like, I want to go dramatic. So I'm going to pop on some of Oh Baby with a touch of lip liner just to define my lips a little better. And then let's get my final thoughts out of my brain. Okay, so for the lip, I did end up going with ColourPop's 951 lip liner underneath. This is actually old from the I Love Sorry He collection. Using that lip liner definitely made me love this formula and the color and everything a lot more. My final thoughts on this collection, there are some major hits here. Honestly, there are no misses. There are some things that I feel like you don't need to spend your money on. Uh, everything is really cute in this collection, but you don't need these hair clips for $10. You don't need the hairbrush. You probably don't need the shimmering body oil. In terms of the worst color product itself, what I would recommend the least is the Pretty Peachy Shimmering Body Powder. This is so pretty. I want to put it all over my eyelids but it doesn't look very cute on my face and I'm just not inclined to reach for a product like this very often for my body. So this is for me my least favorite product itself. I really do enjoy the eyeshadow palette but it wasn't something that I needed and it's not something that I'm going to say that you do need. It's a nice eyeshadow palette though. It's easy to work with. If you're interested in picking it up, you want a Valentine's Day themed eyeshadow palette, it's a really great option. It is. It's a little messy but I like it. I really love the range of the Fresh Kiss Lip Cream creams that they came out with. The colors, perfect for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you're in need of lip colors, but I really like the colors. Now, as you know, the must-haves from this collection that I would encourage you to purchase when and if they come available again are these blushes. These are just great staples to have in your routine altogether. I, I don't know that I have a favorite color. My favorite color, just based on the colors that I typically wear, is going to be Flirt Alert. I wear a lot of purples and cooler tone looks, so this is the one that I love, but there's a lot of options. These are my favorite part of the collection. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Stay tuned. Like I said, more ColourPop content is coming as I commit myself to focusing on that. So make sure you are subscribed and like this video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one. Ha! I almost forgot the giveaway if you stayed till the end. The stuff that I told you was going to be in the giveaway is going to be in the giveaway. I also have some extra stuff in my giveaway piles that I'm going to add in as well. I just wanted to give one of you a nice Valentine's Day gift. So in order to enter one, you must be subscribed to me here on YouTube and you must be following me on Instagram. Morgan Turner Makeup is my username. So make sure you're following me because that is how I contact the giveaway winner. It's my preferred point of contact as well. And then you're going to comment down below what are your plans for Valentine's Day? Even if you don't have plans, let me know. I want to hear what you're doing for Valentine's Day, if you're doing anything. And then comment your Instagram handle or some point to contact you. If you don't use Instagram or don't have Instagram, you can also put your email there as well. That's fine. But again, I do prefer Instagram. If you don't put your Instagram and you don't put your email, you cannot win. I have no way of contacting you. That's the thing that most people forget most often. So please, please, please remember a point of contact and I will find you. And if you put your Instagram handle, make sure you're following following me on Instagram. That also is a mistake people make. Anyways, I'm really excited for this giveaway. It's going to end exactly one week from the date that this video is posted. I will have all of the details in the description box in case I missed anything. Good luck and happy early Valentine's Day!